Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Liv. And this is the Maki vlog. And today we're testing out Blue Cruise 1.2. This is just going to be our first impressions because we just got this. So let's go. Woo! So we actually have Blue Cruise 1.0 in our Maki. Uh, this is actually a loaner from Ford. It has the latest Blue Cruise 1.2, which has some new features that we're going to try to explore a little bit today. We're going to do a more in-depth review and comprehensive deep dive into Blue Cruise 1.2. But for today, I'm going to give you like our first impressions, hopefully try out some of the new features, which includes lane changes, moving over if there's a large vehicle uh, next to us and uh, slowing down slightly for curves, which we may not be able to do that part because we're not on any like really sharp curvy roads today. But um, this is gonna be our first impressions. Uh, right now that we've traveled this road a little bit before, you know, and with our car with Blue Cruise 1.0, feels fairly similar, handle that curve really nice and smooth with no issues. Uh, I think Blue Cruise in our version has gotten better over time, don't you? Oh, certainly. Uh, and I don't know, that seemed kind of like a notable curve. I'm looking at the map right now and it looked curvy to me. Yeah. Uh, it didn't really slow down though, so I feel like we should definitely find a good curve. It didn't slow down, but I think what it is, is like if it's one of those where it has like actual warning signs uh, uh, that, you know, like you got a, it's a 65 and you got to slow down to 55 or something like that. I think those are the type, we may have to explore those. And later this week, we're gonna to try to, we got some rain coming in tomorrow, so we'll test it uh, in rainy conditions. We'll test it at night. But this is just gonna be our first drive. We're gonna try out some things. Like we're coming up here um, next to a truck, and this is gonna be our first, like, is it gonna move over? And I'm sort of watching where the hood is matched up with the lines to see if it, if it does move over. And he's actually pretty far over, so I don't know if this one, oh, yep. He was get a little bit closer. I felt like it wiggled a little bit to the left. I know it may be hard to see on the GoPro, but... I know. I'm trying to judge it, too. This really is the first impression. So, by the way, super cool. Ford actually reached out. They said they have this vehicle with Blue Cruise 1.2. By the way, it's Vapor Blue, which is so cool to see. Beside the point. We get to have this. <laughs> we'll, we'll do a video on that it's a California Route 1 in Vapor Blue. Yeah. So subscribe. We got lots of cool content coming with this. Lots of cool content with this. We get to have it for a whole week. So we definitely want to put Blue Cruise to its paces. And we are in sunny Southern California. It's sunny right now, but we got tons of storms, tons of rain. If you heard about the weather down here, it's a lot of rain. So hopefully we get some good fog and some good... Um, poor visibility, some good poor visibility. That's weird. But we really want to try this out properly. So this really is first impressions, just take it right out. And it, so we're both trying to assess it. Yeah, too. and it's like, uh, you know, we haven't felt like uh, we've had any ping ponging experience with our car in a while. Like when we first got it, it seemed like it ping ponged a little bit. This truck but, is really far over, do you oh, see Oh yeah, let's see this yeah. one, because we definitely- They're really in the right, uh, in the uh, left. Oh yeah, yeah, I just, oh, it, it yeah. definitely built. That was casual though, it wasn't like a, it wasn't sudden, it was just like me. Eh. So I don't know if you guys can see that with the views that we're doing. Uh, hopefully this isn't like too blown out and you can actually see out the window. Maybe we'll get some <laughs> footage with the, yeah. the, the iPhone to add on top of that. But it, like I could definitely, like it was just a, like, let's move over. There's a big truck. Exactly what I would do normally. And that's one of the things about Blue Cruise is with 1.0, like it would pass a truck like that. And I knew it wasn't going to run into it, but it just felt too close to yeah. the truck. This one just moved over and I felt more comfortable. There's another truck coming up and I want to try to check this camera. We're, we're trying to make sure we have as much good footage expansive footage as we can but there's that truck over there so i'll try to catch that before we get close. to the truck i'm going to try the next feature is has lane change assist so it won't see like there's an empty lane i'm going to go for it uh and, and just go there what it does is like it will like if i turn my blinker on if it sees that there's an empty spot it's going to make that lane change that was awkward like that was on a curve on yeah. a curve but it handled it fine. 
Oh yeah, that was great. And also I'm going to show you guys what it looks like uh, when Patrick initiates it. There's a car next to There's drive. a car here. So I'm going to turn it on now. And it's like, nope, I can't do the lane change yet. Okay, keep on going. <laughs> keep on going. Uh, they won't get out of our way. That's all right. You just got to see this really, really slowly. I think it's cool that it shows you not available. Not available. Because uh -huh, yeah. it, it waited too long. But now I can turn it back on. Um, and, and there was another car it. that was coming up, but yeah, it's showing the little animation. I like the animation because I can see that too. Like what's happening? And then you can see the, there's a left and a right arrow. And that's basically saying like, I can turn on, uh, do the lane change for either. Uh, and then here's this truck. Okay. So let's see what this looks like. Did we move over? I don't, I, don't I didn't feel like it moved over. Which means that maybe we did move over the other times, though. Yeah, it's it's interesting. But now I'm going to do a lane change to the right. So we're going to go do that. Preparing lane change. I love that animation. That's really fun. And then when we're done, turn it back off, and it's ready to do another one. I'm curious, like, if I go all the way over to the right, and now we're doing a, another lane change on a curve. Uh -huh. But it feels very natural. It doesn't feel like something else is doing it. He did it a couple times before he started filming and I felt a little like, because it's just, it's very disconcerting. So I'm going to test this out. I don't know if okay. this will work or not, but I can't do a lane change to the right, but I'm going to see like preparing. Okay. I was a little nervous. <laughs> Me too. Uh, I canceled my lane change. That's what that noise was. But I, I turned to blinker on to do a lane change to the right. I wanted to make sure that it doesn't go into the guardrail. So, yeah. uh, well, this is, this is raw. Like we're, we're not editing any of this. Uh, well, we're going to edit the video, but, <laughs> but you're just capturing our like, Hey, how does, how does this all work? Um, th through those curves, it still hasn't slowed down any, but again, these aren't really sharp curves. Um, but overall it, it's feeling rock steady and smooth. Yeah, and we definitely need to take it somewhere where there are actual curves because you're right. It's not like we've been getting warnings like slow down for curve. But um, if you watched that video, we did a chat GPT adventure and we went on what we call now the pie run. Yeah, there's a lot of curves going that direction. So and this is something that I want to test. Uh, Kyle Connor also has a car and is doing tests with Blue Cruise 1.2. He showed a little clip on Twitter where it slowed down while it was intelligent cruise control, not blue cruise, on a, a smaller road, not a, a blue cruise road. So we may have to like do something like that, like try uh, something that's not blue cruise. Oh yeah. I, 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 I'm not exactly sure like what features work in the, the hands-on intelligent cruise control versus the hands-off blue cruise, but that's what we're gonna do and, and figure out this whole week. But um, I think we're gonna try to find our next turnaround spot and head back. And I'm actually really, really curious about all those dodgy lane change situations. So like when you're changing lanes, but then the person in the lane next from yours speeds up and cuts in, you know, like, does it see that? Cause you can see that, you know, as yeah. a human, um, well, but they're not like in your lane, but they're coming in. So I did notice this time, like when that car passed us and I, I had to blink run and it was like, okay, now the car has passed us. It should be able to go over. I believe it did see that there was a car catching up fairly quickly and wouldn't initiate the lane change to cut them off. So that, that seems really good. Um, I wish we had like 360 cameras so you guys could see everything that's going on. We need more cameras. On. So, um, okay, my question at the end of the week, we can save it for the end of the week because you can't obviously tell this yet. Like it. Oh, I just made it. Oh, you did it. You did yeah, it Yeah, that was, the, this truck started slowing down pretty drastically and the car, I have the following distance. Oh, the speed limit dropped. That's why. Ah, we're going to the way station. That's right. Okay. Yeah, that that was my fault. Um, Cause I have it adapting to the, the speed limit change. And while we're going through here, um, the speed limit drops to 55 and I have it. So, or it, normally, Everybody just speeds through here. So in our car, I don't have it adapting to the speed limit signs, mm. good or bad. Um, but it, yeah, it's all the 55 mile per hour speed limit. So uh, that it's a, it's a really cool feature that I like when um, 
doing road trips in unfamiliar areas because sometimes they mm -hmm. drop the speed limit, you don't realize it, and then there's a cop waiting for you. Uh, but I know this area, everybody, nobody slows down for, for that. Yeah, unless they're weighing, in which case there's tons of traffic. Um, or like that last time, for, for whatever reason. Okay, so my question for the end of the week will be, well, one of my questions, is it worthwhile to have lane changing? Have the ability for automatic or assisted lane changing? Because you have to be aware, right? You're looking around anyways, you're nervous just in case there's someone speeding up. Are you doing it right now? I'm doing another one. You're doing it. Yeah, but there's no one around us. So, like, is there a benefit for you to have the car do it? For, I mean... Very slight. Very slight. But this should be, and this is cool. one of the things, uh, It is, Blue Cruise 1.2 is on uh, 2023 Mach-E's. It should be coming to 2021 and 2022 Mach-E's that have Blue Cruise 1.0 now. Be it over the air. It should be a free upgrade. Uh, I've heard everything from summer to uh, late fall. So hopefully everybody will be getting all of these features. Um, but for some people, you know, we're going to come up to a point to where uh, Blue Cruise comes up for a renewal. It's basically uh, $600 for three years. So would that be worth it? And does lane change ability make it an extra oh, value? Yeah. Yeah. What it, do it's you supposed to be think? all going to be the same price. So, I mean, uh, it's a feature that could make it more appealing for road trips. So let's say that's something you do four plus times a year, then I don't know. That's quite a bit of money though, huh? And we just moved over. Did you see that? Did yeah, you see I that? Yeah. Felt that. Yeah. Yeah, I felt that one. So just they from that van. They they were in like a good position and then they like wiggled over into our area and the car was like, Oh, you're close, so I just realized something, by the way, this is completely unrelated, completely unrelated. This vehicle does not have tinted front windows. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting blasted over yeah, here. Yeah, that is, I, you know, I don't say that you need to do anything to your vehicle typically, but tint the front windows <laughs> makes yeah. such a big difference. We did that with our GT Lucifer Tucifer, uh, and we didn't have it with Office Edition. Oh my gosh, how are we driving around like this? It's quinting. So I think this is where we need to turn around and okay. head back or else we're going to be going Go to, to LA. LA. Woo! Okay. So we'll turn around. <laughs> we're going to pause for a second because you guys still need to see. But there's a cool car and a trailer ahead. Mount Blue Cruise. It's a Porsche. Mm. Like old, I think. Okay. Let's Wait. turn around. We're back. We're back. <laughs> I don't know if that worked. Did it look cool? I hope so. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> so... Everything else with Blue Cruise functions as it has. Uh, and one of the things that I always have to like point out to people that haven't used Blue Cruise is uh, Blue Cruise is referring to the hands-off uh, intelligent cruise control that uh, Ford has. The uh, intelligent cruise control of lane centering is like the equivalent of Tesla Autopilot basic autopilot, not enhanced, but basic autopilot. And then um, Blue Cruise, the hands-off version, Tesla does not have anything that is hands-off, period. No ifs, ands, or buts. All of their systems are, are hands-on. So a lot of people try to compare it. They're sort of like different in their own way. Um, so just something I'd like to point out, this is a hands-off system like right now. I don't get a reminder every 20 seconds to put my hands on. Uh, as long as I'm in a Blue Cruise section, uh, we're good to go. I'm going to change lanes around this truck. Uh, I was, I, I was curious. There's a car coming up, so it didn't do the lane change. I'm going to wait a second. It still says preparing lane change. Yeah. I'm curious. I was curious to see like how long it stays. Preparing lane change, and then you see it engaging. It does that little swivel thing. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, I, to me, I didn't think it would be that big of a deal to have the lane changes because it's like okay i need a lane change but uh so i turn it turn blue cruise off and then lane change and then it automatically re-engages so, and this guy's interesting because he's quite wobbly yeah so i want to see how he feel yeah i'm watching the the hood lines Ooh, we moved over oh yeah yeah, yeah. We, we squiggled over yeah that was a little squiggle but he's being squiggly so now just as i'm getting in front of him 
Am I... Are you going to change lanes? Yeah, I'm going to... Yeah. Ooh. So it waited until I got in front. No, it's doing pretty good. No, it's good. And now we see this track. And it's then let's like... see this one. Ooh. We're just having fun with this. I felt that. So yeah, it's so the two of the major, you know, changes are the you know I'm so far happy. Like I was saying before, I uh, did that lane change. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Like I like having cruise control on or blue cruise on, and. Uh, I turned my blinker on, it lets me steer over to the other lane, and I turned the blinker off and it automatically re-engages. So it didn't, you know, for it to do it for me, didn't seem like that big of a deal, but so far in this little first experience, uh, it's, it's been pretty cool to have. And doing it a fairly decent job, and we're gonna test a lot more because I sort of wanna try it in different situations. Um, but we're also gonna test, you know, like I said, we're gonna test it in the rain, we're going to go find some stop and go traffic. Yeah. There's a couple of spots where I know that um, Blue Cruise 1.0 and Armaki uh, would always give, you know, it would cancel, not cancel, it would just basically tell me to take over control. So we're going to go try some of those this week and do all those comparisons. Stop and go traffic is always a big one. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll sort of check all of those. And if you have comments about what we should test let us know oh yeah and we're gonna try have this out really quickly so uh this is today's monday we just received the vehicle today we hope to have this out tomorrow so that's tuesday so we will be available for a whole bunch of filming if you guys have any questions to add on to what patrick said construction there's some construction areas that we know yeah. uh, we have to hit or want to hit and also, we're going up to the more, this route that we just took is a little bit quieter in this area. So I think it'll be really interesting heading to San Diego from where we are, North County, San Diego, where it gets much more condensed, much crappier roads. Uh, there are cracks in the roads, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. It'll be really interesting. So one interesting thing is like, oh, oh. cop just like flew up behind me. Marine, Marine Corps police. Silently. Um, one interesting thing about doing the lane changes is normally like if I'm doing a lane change, especially like this, when I've had blue crews on and then I got to do a lane change, I, I have to sort of get my bearings way more. So in other words, I'm like checking this mirror, checking that, checking, checking, checking. But it is sort of neat like to go like, oh, I don't want to do it. Somebody's getting ready to uh, get in that lane. But anyways, uh, to do a lane change because it's gonna like check for me, it gives me a little bit more confidence that like somebody's not in my blind spot. And you should obviously still check everything, but yeah. it does seem like a good assistance, which is why I'm curious how it will be in heavy traffic when people are zipping in and out. Because if you're still basically changing the lane, like you're the one initiating it, you're looking, you would be moving, but the car is moving for you, and you basically just have cameras helping you then thinking of it that way seems cool. In that case, then it's not just for road trips because then it's like you're yeah. commuting in rush hour traffic all the time. I mean, we used to commute 40, well, it was 45 minutes in the morning, then an hour in the evening Yeah, every only day. like 20 miles each way, but 20 it just miles, took Yeah, forever. it just took forever. Uh, this is a new development for us, um, pandemic silver lining that we've been able to be remote. But I could totally have seen that being useful on our commute. And if you have a commute like that, well, what would you think? Like, I think that'd be really helpful, lane changing assistance. And now looking at like this curve, fairly decent curve. Ooh, that is very decent. And it's it's not slowing down it's, or, or anything reacting. Um, but really, I wouldn't want it to slow down on this curve, you know? No, I, I mean... Like I wouldn't normally... So There's I'm nothing that not, says to slow down, but yeah. it is quite a curve. Yeah, and then I'm, the end I'm glad of it's too. Oh, oh wait, here's scenic a scenic overlook. Oh wait, the scenic overlook has. Warning and then things. that was interesting. That was sort of because I'm in the, uh, the slow lane, so that like it didn't flinch when that exit lane was there. Here comes a an entrance lane. Uh, yeah. It feels like super smooth. It's not like wobbling back and forth in there at all. Yeah. That'll be interesting, like um, those exit lanes that aren't super well marked. 
I think that's our good first impression. I think we need to wrap <laughs> it up because I got to edit this and get it out <laughs> for tomorrow. We have been talking a while. So far, so good. It's going to be an interesting week. A uh, great opportunity to test this out in a variety of circumstances, both weather and geographically. And just whatever. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I'm I'm good to go. Are you good to go? I'm good to go. All right. Thank you to everybody. Thank you to our Patreons. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions as well, um, just to everybody. Thanks. And I'll let you wrap it up because I'm Look at that looking at this yellow really portion high. distracted. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, that's a really sweet yellow portion. Huge thank you to all of you guys for watching our videos, liking them, commenting, everything, because it's such an amazing honor and opportunity to be able to get a vehicle like this for a week. And we wouldn't have that pull, that, that pull, that pull, <laughs> if it wasn't for you guys. We, we just enjoy making these videos and it's so cool to have the opportunity to test out this software and all that. Um, like Patrick said, big thank you to our patrons. We did tell them uh, already that we had this vehicle. So we try to give them a little early shout out or early notice and we definitely pay attention to the questions they have and things like that. So yes. By the way, it just went out of Blue Cruise. I totally put back. my hands back on, but that's all it did. It's just like, I just had to put my hand on. So it did get a little bit iffy there. Not iffy, it just, wanted some reassurance from me. I wonder why, what made it? There was a uh, an on-ramp there and sometimes the sun glare, it's hard to tell. Mm. Well, anyways, we will touch base with you guys soon with some more Blue Crew stuff. Hopefully um, it's gonna be a fun week. I know it's gonna be a fun week. So just remember that whatever you drive, whether it has Blue Cruise 1.0, 1.2, no Blue Cruise, no nothing, Nothing, and oh my gosh, if you have to use your hands to drive it, whatever. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> Bye.